So there's one of those things that really needs to be covered when it comes to working with building a website, and that is image optimization. Now this might not be a particularly sexy topic, but it is one of those areas that can make a massive difference and is very, very easy to implement. So in this video, I just want to demonstrate an online service, both free and paid for, and a plugin you can use with WordPress that'll speed up the entire process and make it incredibly painless. So let's take a look at that right now. My name is Paul C and this is WP Touch, the channel where I show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that bell icon below to be notified every time new content is added. So what am I talking about? Well, today we're going to be taking a look at ShortPixel. It's an online service for image compression and optimization that has a fantastic free option, but the paid for version gives you tons of extra cool functions and you can link that through to a free plugin for WordPress. So all this optimization could go on in the background and give you faster loading websites. So why is this important? Well, the speed of your website has massive impacts to both the user and to your ranking in Google and other search engines. So getting optimized images from the get-go can really have a massive impact upon your website. So let's take a look at how we can use this. We'll start off with the free service and then we'll take a look at some of the other options that are available to us. So let's just jump over now onto the computer and take a look at short pixel and see some of the options. And we'll start off with that free online image optimization service. So if we jump over to shortpixel.com, you're going to land on the home page of the ShortPixel website, and it's going to give you some information about what ShortPixel does, the pricing, the sign-up options, all those kinds of good things. What we're interested at this point is the compress option. Now, we click on the compress option. You can see we can now upload images to ShortPixel, and we can have the online algorithm compress those images and then allow us to re-download them. We can batch process if we want to. So we can upload a batch of images, and then once it's all finished compressing them, we'll then get the option to download a zip file with all of our images in. Now you can see we've got three different kinds of compression, lossy, glossy, and lossless. Now I'm not going to go into detail what they are. If you simply scroll down the page on the compress section, you'll see it'll give you information about each of the three options. This then allows you to decide which is the best for the image or images that you are currently trying to compress. So let's try testing these different forms of compression out and see what they give us. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use quite a large image. This hasn't been scaled for the internet. This is simply going to be something like a 6,000 by, 6, by 4,000 pixel file. So probably overkill for what we want. But if you are using an online portfolio, you may be using images of this kind of size. So we're starting off with a file size of just over 7 megabytes. So I'm going to drag and drop that into the area, and we're going to choose lossy to start off with. We'll let that go through and upload, and then we'll let it do the compression and see what we end up achieving from this image. So I've uploaded the file. I've let short pixel go through its compression routine and as you can see it's reduced that image by 82 percent from 7.3 megabytes down to 1.3 so that's pretty good so that there gives us a massive 82 percent reduction in file size which online is absolutely huge now if we want to take a look what this looks like to see if the end result is something we're happy with we can simply click on the little eye icon and that'll open up a preview and we can compare the original version to the compressed version and what you should see is there's not much of a difference going on there. It's compressed it down by over 80% and we still retain a great looking image. So that's pretty cool. So if we close that down and we're going to go through to the glossy option this time, I'm going to upload the same image again and we're going to let it see the different compression ratios. So let's just upload this image again, let that go through the upload process and the compression routine and we'll see what we end up with by using the glossy option. And wow, there you go. Even using the glossy, which has minimal compression applied to it, still gives us a 79% saving of file size down to just 1.6 megabytes on that 6,000 by 4,000 pixel image. Pretty impressive. Now, the free option of short pixel is fantastic. And if you have no need to compress more than 100 images in a month, I would say stick with using that. It's fantastic. However, if you want to get a little bit more out of it and you have a lot more images to use, then I take a look at the pricing option. And as you can see, for the short option, $4.99 or $4.99 a month gives you up to 5,000 images. And if you are currently viewing this video as we release it, which is the beginning of September 2018, if you jump over to appsumo.com, you can pick up a lifetime deal on there for a great price that will basically give you that short option for a one-time fee and you can use it forevermore. 
I picked up a copy of that myself the last time it was on offer there, and I will say it is worth every penny. It's just so easy to work with. Speaking of things like that, what do we get out of it if we start using this in conjunction with something like WordPress and use the free WordPress plugin? Well, we have the ability to easily link through the API, which is just a little bit of code that you get when you have an account with ShortPixel. You just put it into the plugin, it links it to your account, and you can benefit from all of this compression going on in the background on WordPress when you upload files. Now, you don't even need to upload those via the Media Manager. If you're using some of the other tools and plugins you can have, like NextGen Gallery and so on, you can upload images and they don't necessarily go into your media library. You can still have those be compressed by short pixel. On top of that, it'll actually allow you to keep a backup copy of all of your images, your untouched, uncompressed images. So then you can use short pixel to compress them and use those in your site. And if you want to roll back at any point, you can do that. So let's take a look at the short pixel plugin in action in WordPress. And let me just show you how easy it is to integrate that into your site structure. So I've logged into one of my sites where I've got the short pixel plugin set up. And as you can see, we've got a range of different options there that match out on the website, the lossy, glossy, and lossless. We've also got to include thumbnails where they want to be compressed, whether we want to take a backup of the images. So just in case something happens, we've got the original images left in a separate folder on our WordPress server. We've also got the option then for uh, remove EXIF data. So if you're a photographer or someone that sells stock images and you need that EXIF data to be left inside your images, you can just uncheck that and that will be left and stored with the images as and when they're uploaded, which is pretty cool. You also then got to resize large images and you can specify the maximum size before that gets triggered and so on. We've also got some advanced options in there. And again, this is the kind of thing, take your time to read through it and have a little look just to make sure that everything is configured the way that you want. You can even use it to set up WebP versions and, set, and sort of use those as and when required, which again is pretty cool. If you use Cloudflare as a, a content delivery network, your CDN, you can just go through and set things up in there. And finally, you've got the statistics, which will give you information about your copy of short pixel and so on on the server. So once you install it and configure those couple of little bits and pieces that you need on there to get it where you want, you've only got really simple options. So we go to the media library. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just simply go through and upload an image into the media library. So switch the view over for us a second. And I'm going to upload an image now and we'll see what happens with the compression and how it works. So I'm going to grab an image that's about 400k. So not massive. We'll upload that into my media library. And once that's uploaded, then we'll find short pixel. We'll then go through and start optimizing that image in the background for us. And as you can see, there's the little short pixel icon to tell us that it's currently optimizing not to close down the admin section. I've also got additional controls if I want. So if I just change this over to the list view, you'll see there's a little warning at the top that tells me when you're not in list view, you can't access some optimization information. So let's just say you've uploaded an image and you haven't optimized it. Well, you can come in and you can just choose to optimize it on an image by image basis, which again is one of those things that's very, very cool. So if we say we've got this image by here, we can give it a click on optimize now and it'll go through the process of doing it. It also gives us some information about the compression and some other information about the image that we're working with. So you can see image is not processed. We can test it for free and we've got plus nine thumbnails. So if I wanted to, I can click on optimize now. That will then go through and it says image waiting to be processed. It'll go through when it's ready. It'll process the image for us and we'll have the resized version. So you can see bonus processing lossless. Click on there. You can see we've got some additional information. We can compare it to the original. We can re-optimize as lossy, glossy, or restore backup. So let's just say re-optimize as lossy. So let it go through and do that. And then once you've done that, that image then has been recompressed using a different compression format. So you can see it's incredibly easy to benefit from using these different tools. And if we take a look now and we come in and we say, let's compare, we can compare on there and it'll give us the option to then go through and we can compare the image before and after. And as you can see, really is next to no difference in the image quality, but we should find the file size is considerably smaller based upon what we saw on the website. So that's my overview of short pixel. It's one of those things that I found that I purchased this myself out of my own money. I'm not sponsored by short pixel in any way, shape or form. I purchased this and I use it on pretty much every website that I upload images to for clients. And I also have things set up that I use for myself, as you just saw with one of my websites where I use this every time an image is uploaded and automatically uploaded in the background. I get that image compressed without the need for me to do anything to it, which I think is worth every single penny of what I paid for this. 
So there we go, that's Short Pixel, a great online service and a great way of being able to optimize your images to get faster loading websites. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell icon below to be notified every time new content is added. If you have any comments, questions, and feedback on this video, please pop those in the comment section below. Have you found any kind of online service or free plugin for WordPress that does a better job than ShortPixel? Then pop those in the comment section below and let's all benefit from taking a look at the other options that are available to us. Well, my name is Paul C. This has been WP Touch. Until next time, take care.